Hi there, this is Frankie for Devon Live. We are currently live at Exeter, Exeter Cathedral, where the autumn market is back on for the first time since COVID. I'm just going to take you for a walk around the market before we catch up with Colin from India in a jar, who's got his store right in front of me. There's been quite a big queue to get in here this morning. People obviously have really wanted to come back. Look at the line we've got here. The event is free, but you can get a ticket in advance regardless. Um, they are checking tickets at the door, but it's just to ensure that the event doesn't go over a certain capacity. As you can see in front of me, it's pretty busy. So we're just going to go for a walk around the market and then catch up with Colin from India in a jar who's got a range of really funky Indian food products. We've got a lot of liqueurs for sale here. There's lots of pottery and weaving and local art. We've got the leather genie here. Some local ceramics over here. And as usual, there is a big crowd hovering around Colin's store from India in a jar, who we are just going to go and speak to in one moment. Lots of people interested in his store. going to wait one sec for Colin to be free. Hey Colin. Yeah. It's a really incredible location for something like this to happen. The cathedral's also just recently announced that the Christmas market is going to be back on as well. And yeah, people obviously are really happy to be back here again to check out some local products. There's some really unique things being sold here today. I wouldn't say one stall is similar to any other. A lot of paint work, a lot of silver work, a lot of art. It's definitely worth checking out for yourselves. Looks like Colin is pretty busy, so I'm going to speak with somebody else and then come back to him. Yeah, by making small pieces like flowers to demonstrate the laying out of the fibres, adding water and soap, and then just rubbing it until it forms the flower. Oh, amazing. There. So, is this flower in front of us, is that something that would go onto one of the final products? Um, yeah, I either add them into something or I make brooches to just finish off the shawls with them. Um, or little beads and things, just to finish them off. Yeah. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And how's the market been for you so far? Well, I've only just um, come back this year. Last year, of course, everything was cancelled. And this year, um, 
we started in September. So it's been a bit of a funny year. People are still, I think, a bit nervous about coming out. But it's lovely to be here in these fabulous surroundings with all these great stalls. Do you usually sell your things in pop-up markets or do you have a kind of permanent headquarters somewhere? Um, I work from home, so I sell online and then um, I just do two or three big fairs a year. So have you kind of missed that person-to-person -person contact that comes with being in a, in a marketplace like this? Yes, very much, because you find it, you, there's a little community when you come out and it's not just about selling, it's about talking to people and explaining what you do because, you know, felting's a bit of a dying art. So if you can get the message out, that's nearly as important as being commercially viable. So. Yeah, of course, definitely. That's a really interesting line that felting is um, a dying art, but it's places like this which are kind of keeping it going, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And there is, there is um, there's a big felting community in Devon and the southwest, and that helps. And with, you know, you can do workshops and all sorts of things. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's really odd doing that. It's great. You know, thank you. You were, you were great. Well done. <laughs> Hey, Colin from India in a jar. Hello, how nice are you? to meet you again. I'm fantastic. I'm brilliant. It's busy, busy, busy. Yeah, how, how is it being back in the market after missing oh, last year? I feel super. We've been missing all this for the past year and a half. And I'm really excited to be among the crowd, giving out tasters to people, getting their feedbacks, and the pent up demand is also helping the business. So I'm loving it. Yeah, it looks like you are, and it looks like people are loving your store as well. Can you tell us a bit about some of the stuff that you're selling? Oh, yes. We do something for everyone. Sweet, relishes, medium relishes, spicy relishes, volcanic relishes. Cooking paste, we do mild, medium, hot, and volcanic. All my cooking paste and powders comes with cooking videos on YouTube. My intention is to make cooking fun and easy for everyone. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Indian cooking. <laughs> And is there also like a, um, a health side to some yes, of the products that you're some, selling? We do some concoctions which have been used in India for centuries. For example, the fresh root of turmeric combined with black pepper and coconut oil is one of my top sellers. And the ginger and tamarind, the garlic with Kashmiri chilies, they all have remedial qualities according to Ayurvedic medicine, which is one of the oldest in the world. So basically it says you are what you eat. Ginger, garlic turmeric all prices shooting up the only thing that's growing down is the cucumber why do you think the prices are shooting up because of all stemming from covid yeah. and the recent issues with farmers were quarantined in india there's no harvest crops were lost shipping companies not working as normal uh, because the sailors were like you know quarantined now the blockage in Swiss Canal, which happened a few months ago, now the latest lorry driver problems, it's all having an impact, direct or indirect, I think yeah. that is the reason. And do you have a headquarters for your business normally, or do you normally rely on marketplaces like this well, to sell? these kind of markets and events are our bread and butter. For a small trader like me, this is a venue for us to display our produce, and we also do online, because of during COVID. We had to start a website and we're doing very good online, but I prefer people when they taste from me directly, they speak to me, give me a feedback, which I use the feedback to help in various ways, improving the product, and et cetera, et cetera. Yes, it's better, yes. Okay, well, thanks so much for Colin from India in a jar. Thank you very much. It was really nice to speak with you. All right, we're going to go for one more walk around the traders. So anyone who can't make it down here today gets a chance to see what is going on and then we will be signing off. So we've got a collection of felt scarves here. Plenty of ceramics on sale here. A lot of jewelry. It's pretty inspiring that most of the things that are on sale here today have been made by local residents in Exeter and it says a lot about how vibrant and creative the community is here. More ceramics.
some candles. Some artisan chocolates.